This is the story of an unidentified baby who was found on Christmas Eve in 1992. Now this is from Code Cases on Reddit, and this was um, titled Mary Eve. This was a case mentioned on a Wikipedia article for unidentified murder victims. On Christmas Eve 1992, the body of a female infant of possibly mixed race was found in a trash bag in the employee parking lot of Oxmore Center on Shelbyville Road in Louisville, Kentucky. The mother has never been found. I can find several articles from the Courier Journal archives referencing Mary Eve from January of 1993. I cannot access all of them because they are behind a paywall, but a Reddit user apparently posted the contents a few years ago. The mother of the newborn baby found dead on Christmas Eve can take comfort in knowing that she's our little girl and we will take care of her. More than 40 people attended Mary Eve's funeral. Teresa Adams and her husband James arranged for the burial. Jefferson County Coroner said yesterday that the child had been born healthy and died probably from suffocation or exposure before being struck by a car. So apparently the baby was just left in a trash bag in the parking lot. Someone hit, hit it thinking it was just a bag of trash. Yesterday, police questioned a woman after getting a name from a tipster, but she is not the baby's mother. They'll continue to pursue every lead, he said, but mourners at the funeral are curious about who is the parent of this child. They wanted to give the baby a decent burial. Teresa Adams of Friardale said everyone at the service felt a connection to Mary Eve, as the baby had been called. Her mother can take comfort in knowing that she's been well taken care of. Family of strangers puts together abandoned, puts abandoned baby to rest. Some people bought flowers, and one woman placed a teddy bear on the tiny closed coffin. The infant, who had been found dead in a parking lot in Oxmore Center, was naked except for a partial trash bag. Police began a search for, to find out who put her there. It seemed that no one would claim her, but the seven-pound newborn was surrounded by mourners at Bethany Memorial Center in Jefferson County. More than 40 strangers gathered to say goodbye to her, to the little baby that they had never seen. The baby's body was buried the Jefferson County Coroner. This was 1993, so I'm wondering if maybe they might have exhumed the body or if they kept tissue samples, blood samples, um, anything that they could maybe use now as far as DNA. It sounds almost as though this were a child that maybe was born to a Maybe a teenager, possibly. Someone who did not want, and not just the fact that they didn't want the baby, but that they got rid of the baby in this manner. But you would think that 30 years later, DNA would be able to be used to test and find out if, if possibly one of the parents, the father or the mother, maybe had in, were in CODIS if they were have ever been arrested. Um, I don't know about 1993, but Louisville, Kentucky now has a, a large population of homeless people. It's possible that the baby could have been born to someone in that situation. I reached out to a Louisville, Kentucky Reddit thread. I asked the question if anyone had heard of this story or knew where I could find any information on it. And I had several people reach out to me. They sent me some newspaper articles. 
and this is all I was able to put together on this. This is a page that someone sent to me. A newborn girl found dead Christmas Eve outside the Oxmoor Center shopping mall was born alive, an autopsy revealed. The naked baby whose umbilical cord was still attached was born alive and was a healthy baby otherwise, says Jefferson County Coroner. The cause of death was not definitely established. There were head injuries, police said, but the autopsy showed that they occurred after the infant had died. The child was in a plastic bag in a parking lot and was probably ran over. The people who found the baby said that as they were leaving uh, the shopping plaza, they ran over something in a plastic bag, and they got out to go back to look to see what it was, and they found this dead baby. So police believe the baby was already dead at that point. Even though the child had been born alive, they were able to establish that from the autopsy, that it had taken air into its lungs, it had been born alive, and probably died from a, asphyxiation, either intentionally, well, being placed in the trash bag, it could have suffocated, or the mother or someone else may have um, suffocated the baby, but they don't believe that it died from the um, car running over it. They believe that those injuries occurred after death. The baby's body was found near a curb in the far southwest corner of the Miles parking lot, about 300 yards from the nearest store. The baby was a black female, was partially covered with rags and a plastic bag. But I just wanted to say thanks to those people on Reddit who sent me these. Here's, a, here's another article that someone from Reddit sent me. Louisville police continue to search for the mother of a newborn baby whose battered body was found Christmas Eve in a shopping center parking lot. Lieutenant Jean Sherrod said detectives were following a lead from someone who told them of a woman who could be the infant's mother. The infant was naked and the umbilical cord was still attached. The, um, the cause of death has not been determined. He said police are surprised they've received so few tips from the public about this case, given the news coverage it received. He asked the police to be notified of anyone who knows of a woman who was pregnant before the baby was found and who no, you know, is no longer pregnant and doesn't have a baby with her. Um, a Lazarus Department Store employee was ending her Christmas Eve shift at around 4.40 p.m., when she discovered the body after mistaking it for a doll, Jefferson County Deputy Coroner, um, police declined to identify the employee. Now, like I said before, this person was leaving the parking lot in their car. They were going home from their shift. They ran over something in a bag. They got out to look. When they first opened the bag, they thought it was a doll. They said that the baby was 14 inches long. For two hours afterwards, homicide officials examined the bruised and discolored body which, clothed, which lay unclothed near a curb in front of a tree in the corner of the parking lot. This is incredible, said Police Lieutenant Marty McDermott. It's unbelievable. The body was about 14 inches long and covered with rags. And the baby was buried at um, Bethany Memorial uh, Cemetery in Louisville. The, the funeral was paid for by some local people there. And I'm, I'm hopeful that they, you know, took DNA samples. I don't know tissue samples and that type of thing at the autopsy and maybe one day those will be entered into and I don't know that they haven't been maybe the biological mother or father will be found and like I said in the earlier part of this video in my discussions with people on reddit about this a lot of uh, 
comments were that this could have been a homeless person. This could have been a young girl who really didn't know what else to do. I don't know, but I'm hopeful that one day some DNA will be put out there and it will, you know, um, keep in mind the boy in the box was 65 years after his body was found and they finally made a connection to his, you know, biological parents and while they are dead and long gone and nobody really knows the exact answers to what happened to him, this was um, 30 years ago. It's possible that both parents are still alive and, you know, maybe they can get some answers to what happened here. Thanks for watching.